I'm currently working as a um, laboratory scientist in Zatec Limited Company. So um, I'm very happy to be here this evening. And this evening we are going to be talking about um, SAT, Asoton, and NISAT. NISAT. So um, I'm going to be uh, projecting a slide is that we are going to be following. So let's start with the slide. Hello, are you seeing any slide? Oh, not yet. Not yet, sir. Not Hello? Yet, sir. Hello, yeah, not yet, sir, not yet. Hello? I can hear you, we can hear you, loud and clear. We've no, not seen the slides yet. yet. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Can, can you see any yes. slides? Yes, 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 you can see the screen now. Can you see any slide? Yes. Yes, 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 yes I can see. Yes, you can see. Okay, you are seeing slide. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay. So um, we are going to be talking about uh we are going to be talking about SAT, Asoton, and NIST. So okay. uh these are my outline. These are my outline. We are going to be talking about a science lab uh, technology history of uh, SAT program in Nigeria, the objective of establishing institute, which is NISAT, science laboratory technology, science lab technology as a professional practice area of specialization in SAT, science laboratory as a professional practice institution that run SAT program in Nigeria, admission requirement for SAT program, and um, SAT uh, IT placement and career graduation. Then I'm going, I'll be going to the second slide. Um, I will just show it. Hope you are seeing the second slide. Not yet. Are you seeing the second slide? Not yet, not yet, sir. Okay. So the second slide we are going to talk about, we are going to be talking about the process of induction into SAT profession by NISAT as a regulatory body, the entry point for SAT graduates in service in Nigeria, the Nigeria Institute of Science Laboratory Technology the history of NISAT, the core function mandate of the institute, the category of a uh, member of the institute, the requirement to become a fellow of the NISAT, uh, the requirement to become uh, associate of membership. Uh, we have corporate, we have non-corporate. Uh, admission, uh, administrative structure of NISAT, the executive of NISAT council, the list of NISAT council chairman right from the inception, the function of NISAT governing council and NISAT national secretariat. So let me just go to the uh the first slide so uh what exactly is a, a science laboratory technology science lab technology is a program that focuses on fundamental principle of biology uh, chemistry uh, physical science and also emphasize on analytical laboratory techniques and application so what is science lab? Science lab is a place whereby uh, scientific uh, research and development are conducted and where analysis are carried out. So lab is a special uh, facilities where experiments are being carried out. 
and laboratory consists of a, a physical laboratory such as a, a physics and uh, electronic laboratory, geology laboratory, while bio biological lab or clinical laboratory uh, include a biological lab, molecular lab, veterinary lab, uh, virology lab, biotechnology, physiology, and pharmacology. So the third one is a chemical lab. We have a biochemistry lab, we have chemistry lab, we have petrochemical lab, petrochem petrochemical lab. So uh, the history of uh, SAT profession in Nigeria, the establishment of um, science lab technology professional body started in 1971 during the meeting of uh, science technologies with uh, the Institute of uh, Science Technology, London, Lagos branch, chaired by uh, late Professor E. Uh, Akin Sawyer, uh, which is the first Nigeria Council member of the Institute of Science Lab Technology, London. So uh, it was materialized on 25 March uh, 1972. The Nigeria Institute of uh, Science Technology, which was uh, inaugurated by Federal Ministry, uh, Federal Commission of Education, lit AYEK. So before the running of SAT uh, program in university and polytechnic, the institute have been conducting science laboratory technology training program and a terminal exam uh, as listed below, uh, which is a basic technology in science lab uh, uh, technology, a national diploma uh, in science uh, laboratory technology, um, higher national diploma in science laboratory technology. Then thereafter, uh, you uh, apply for membership uh, after applying for member membership, you will be licensed to either uh, operate as a laboratory scientist or laboratory technology. So in those days, we don't really have a SAT program where actually run by the institute. So they collaborate with um, uh, schools uh, to run SAT program uh, by uh, program like a uh, basic technology, uh, national diploma in SAT, NIS, uh, higher national diploma in SAT. So before it was being incorporated into university and polytechnic. So I'll be going to the, uh, the second slide now. I don't know why, uh, are you seeing the slide? Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm Hello? So we can hear you. Okay, okay. So I just want to be sure. Yes, yes, so our uh, objective, the objective of establishing an uh, institute, which is the NISAT. So uh, because uh, initially I said there is a group of uh, laboratory scientists, technology that come together uh, because they actually have a branch from the uh, London uh, Science uh, Laboratory Institute. They have a branch here whereby, okay, they uh, control the affair of uh, uh, science laboratory technology in Nigeria, they conduct exam uh, for them and award them an external certificate. So uh, at the point, uh, this uh, group of uh, science, uh, lab technology see the need for us to have an ind indigenous uh, regulatory body. So uh, the reason why, uh, why they come up uh, uh, with that mission is that they, 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 they want to have a, an indigenous uh, central body for uh, laboratory technologies in Nigeria. Uh, secondly, they want to maintain a street professional standard uh, in Nigeria laboratory and to provide training, uh, examination, local certification to science laboratory professional uh, distinct from uh, the city and guide led uh, guide of London. And after a few years, uh, the Nigeria Institute uh, was uh, uh, was established by law. Uh, that was in 2003. So uh, because of this mission they have, uh, they went ahead and pursued a, a statutory uh, recognition. So the NISAT was established in 2003 by the Act uh, of Number 12 
2003. So they are with the mandate to regulate the practice of uh, science lab technology in Nigeria. So the first council of NICT was uh, inaugurated on 27 May 2004 by the Honorable Minister of Science and uh, Technology. So uh, the first council member was inaugurated in May uh, 2004 uh, by the Honorable Minister of uh, Science Technology. So why, um, what is, uh, uh, why, um, I mean, um, laboratory technology is tagged as a professional practice. Why is it a professional practice? There is a reason why uh, SAT is regarded as a professional practice because SAT is not just an ordinary course like other courses. It's a professional uh, course. So we, there is a reason why it's being tagged as a professional practice. So uh, science lab technology is a multi-purpose uh, professional discipline included include uh, clinical slash uh, biology, chemistry, uh, physical uh, lab science, uh, which is uh, uh, provided by uh, the arts, uh, the NISAT art part four, section 11B, uh, we stated that it is, he is entitled by uh, law to practice as uh, to practice for all purposes as a laboratory scientist or technology in Nigeria. So what I'm trying to say here, so science laboratory uh, technology uh, profession is a multi-purpose, it's a multi-purpose discipline, and uh, this is backed by law. So uh, that is why I quoted the section of the law that is entitled to uh, practice for all purposes as a laboratory scientist. So in lab science, we have a, a area of specialization, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, microbiology, biochemistry, uh, chemistry, um, physiology, um, uh, pharmacology, we have uh, virology, we have biotechnology, and etcetera. So science lab uh, technology is a program that focuses on the fundamental principle of uh, of biology, chemistry, chemistry, and uh, physical uh, sciences, and also a lay emphasis on the an analytical laboratory techniques and application. So I've already mentioned this, and we have area of specialization. So in biological uh, laboratory science, we have microbiology, we have virology, we have pharmacology, physiology, we have uh, biotechnology, we have uh, biomedical technology, we have histology, cytology, histochemistry, um, we have um, uh, hematological technique, we have molecular biology, forensic science, biotechnology. So in chemical laboratory practice, uh, we have, uh, for example, we have chemistry, uh, lab science, we have uh, biochemistry, we have uh, petrochemical, why in physical uh, laboratory science, for example, we have physics and electronics, radiology, we have uh, computing uh, laboratory science, we have nanotechnology uh, laboratory science, we have quantum computation laboratory science, biometric laboratory science, we have uh, electronic uh, integration science, we have nuclear engineering laboratory science, we have electrical and electronic laboratory science, we have maintenance and management laboratory science, we have uh, physics uh, laboratory science, we have geology. So those are the category under physical laboratory science. So um, now this one we are going to take uh, science laboratory uh, technology as a professional practice. Why is it regarded as a uh, professional practice? Number one is that it requires special training and education that will help you in understanding uh, of in understanding of biological process and elucidation of chemical and uh, clinical characteristic of pathology. Number two, it requires adequate knowledge on safety, biosafety, biosecurity that will help in uh, protection of life and environment. 
uh, because you know uh, why is it a uh, tag a professional practice? Because uh, you know in the laboratory work, uh, there is a hazard that is associated with uh, you working in the lab. We have physical hazard, we have electrical hazard, we have a, a chemical hazard, biological hazard. For you to work properly and efficiently in a laboratory, it requires you to have an adequate knowledge, training on how to handle chemical that can pose hazard to your head, that can pose hazard to the environment, that can also, uh, uh, you should be able to have knowledge on uh, uh, bioterrorism because uh, uh, in the laboratory, uh, 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 biological weapon can be generated. And that is the reason why uh, lab science need to be regulated. But because if it is not regulated, I can just go into the lab uh, you don't even know the people who are uh, the, the people who are working as a laboratory are not registered. I can come up with a lab, and maybe if I have a a, 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 a very bad intention, I can generate a, a biological we weapon and, and 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 spread it into the air. And this one will actually can cause a pandemic or epidemic. So that is the reason why uh, it is being tagged as a professional practice because. Uh, um, uh, uh, dangerous weapon can be generated in the lab. So as such, it needs regulation. It needs regulation. Look at the issue of uh, COVID-19. Uh, why do, uh, do uh, China uh, will be able to trace uh, where uh, uh, coronavirus break out? It's just because uh, the practice is being regulated. They have the registered number of laboratory, private and public. They have the registered number of um, of uh, members who practice science lab technology. So they will have a regulatory, a regulatory body uh, in that country. So that is one of the reasons why they'll be able to trace and suspect it as, look, okay, this outbreak probably comes from this laboratory because they have been working uh, on this uh, coronavirus. So the regulatory body has information on what you do there. So that is why uh, the world was able to trace, okay, where does this coronavirus probably, uh, probably started from? So uh, thirdly, why is it tagged as a professional practice? Number three, for research purpose, it requires standard operation, ethics, education, training that will help you in generating accurate, precise, reliable results during research. This uh, result will be applicable in medicine, diagnosis, testing, production of kits, um, uh, drug discovery and development, such as a research result must be, as such, research uh, result must be valid and accurate. Uh, you know, some of the research work uh, we do in the lab, uh, the result is being translated into production of test kit, diagnosis, um, 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 uh, production of drug. And this research as well must be valid, must be valid, because if this research you are conducting is not valid, so if, if any information being used from your research to make a product, it can be dangerous to the public. So that is why it's being tagged, uh, tagged as a professional practice, because you must have the adequate knowledge uh, for you to carry out uh, uh, your practice, you must have the adequate knowledge, and as such, you, you you have to be regulated by the regulatory body. So they have to evaluate evaluate, evaluate whether you actually have the necessary uh, competency, the necessary education and training to handle certain job that has to do with life, that has to do with the environment. Environment, like I mentioned earlier, so you should know how to you dispose your biohazard. You should know how to handle chemicals in the lab. You should not just split chemical, hazardous your chemical into the environment. Even you have to protect yourself while you are conducting experiments in the laboratory. So number uh, four, now you must also have a, a adequate knowledge uh, for you to carry out a diagnosis, which will enhance healthcare delivery and uh, healthcare, uh, healthcare safety. Because in the, in the hospital now, we have lab session too that carry out diagnosis, that carry out diagnosis, that carry out finding on patients because the doctor relies on the report of uh, laboratory scientists for them to be able to treat a patient. So as such, the laboratory scientists working in the medical lab must have the adequate training, education, 
uh, uh, to carry out that job. As such, he must be registered. He must be certified because in this case, you are dealing with life. So the life of the uh, society needs to be protected. That is why we have a regulatory body that checkmates the activities of uh, the practice of science lab technology in, in any country. In any country. So uh, the next one is going to be um, um, uh, you must, uh, um, the reason why I start a professional practice is that you, you need a special knowledge for, for uh, Hello, Mr. Chris. Are you with us? Okay, I think even me, he has some to use his network. I'm sure he will connect it back again. So let's just wait for him. He's, I've been learning so much so far. So let's just give him a little time to come back. The Nigerian network is stable. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Chris. You are going again. Okay. Welcome back, sir. I think your network is connected. Hello, sir. We can't hear you. Um, Mr. Chris, can you hear us? Let me let me call him to see what's going on. I think on. he's having a bad network. Yes, yes, that's what, that's what I think. Hello. Welcome, welcome back, Hello. sir. It's nice to have you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes loud and clear. Hello. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. So, where? Okay, you can hear me now. Yes, yes. When okay. do you stop hearing me? And uh, I, I think you disconnected for a while. Okay, uh, I said, yeah. where do you stop hearing me? Okay, this slide. Where do you stop hearing me? Where or when? I say yes. Which slide? This slide we are talking about um, SLT being in profession. As a professional why, why, practice. As a professional practice, yes, SLT as a professional practice. 
the last point you raised was about, was about okay. research, why it's important for us to, um, why our, our, our results as a research is to be applied in drug development and others, so it has to be accurate. So that was the last point you were explaining. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. So the next uh, point we are going to uh, talk about now is uh, institutions that run SAT program in Nigeria. So currently, we have about 14 universities that run SAT program in Nigeria. So uh, number one is Ekiti State University, Ekiti, run a degree program. Ladoke, Akitola University of Technology, Ogbumosho, run both MSc and BSc program. So University, University of Jos also run SAT program and uh, uh, they run, uh, they, they run S, uh, M, BSc and MSc program. We have University of Bauchi, we have Delta State University that run a BSc program, and we have uh, one of our university, which is University of Patakot, that run BSc, MSc, and PhD uh, degree program. So these are the uh, uh, some of the university that run SAT program in Nigeria. So in Pol Polytechnic now, we have more than 40 Polytechnic in Nigeria that run SAT program. Uh, I just list some of them here. We have uh, Abia State Polytechnic. We have Aquaibo State Polytechnic. We have Auchi State Polytechnic. We have Delta State Polytechnic. We have Federal Polytechnic, Adu. We have uh, Polytechnic, Ibida, and Nanja State. We have Pol uh, Federal Polytechnic, uh, Damaturu, Yobe State. We have uh, Federal Polytechnic, Ede, Ocean State. We have uh, Federal Polytechnic, Ilaru, Ogun State, and we have Federal Polytechnic, Ida, uh, in, in um, uh, Kogi State. So these are the storm of uh, Polytechnic that, that run SAT program in Nigeria. So we have more than 40 uh, Polytechnic that run SAT program. So what are the admission requirements uh, uh, for SAT program? Uh, program in Nigeria, either university or polytechnic, you must have your SSC certificate with at least five credits, including English and math. Uh, you must pass your uh, your JAM results, your JAM result uh, before you can secure a, admission into uh, university or polytechnics. So what are the, uh, the duration of SAT program in Nigeria? So in, in university, you have to spend five years with six month industrial training. That is for university. Why for uh, uh, OND program in Polytechnic, you will spend two years with three month IT, industrial training. For, for HND program in Polytechnic, you will spend two years and one year industrial training. Then after that, you go for NYSC. So what are the, uh, the next slide now we're going to be talking about uh, SAT, uh, student IT placement and career. Where can SAT student uh, uh, engage uh, uh, their IT? Where can they do their IT? So I list number of uh, institutions whereby you can do your IT and 